Good morning, guys. So I got another video where we're gonna go over to the strip, or well, over by the strip, I should say. I think we're gonna go walk behind like MGM today, down Colville. A lot of people walk the strip. A lot of people don't go like you know like right outside the strip. So I'm gonna show you guys what's like walking behind MGM today. In the car, gonna drive over there. I'm actually on the other side of the freeway from the strip right now. So you guys see, this is actually a Dean Martin Drive right here. This road. We see there's I-15, Interstate 15. There's the uh, Eiffel Tower at the Paris Hotel. Right over there, here's the Bellagio. So we need to get on that side of the freeway and go park and then start walking around the strip. Okay guys, so I'm gonna pick up essentially where I left off in the uh, video, I think earlier this week or last week, where I came down uh, Tropicana, I was going east down Tropicana. So guys, there's Las Vegas Boulevard, truly just one block that way, that's Las Vegas Boulevard. There's Tropicana, there's Hooters, there's a Motel 6 in the corner. Here is McCarran International Airport. You go down Tropicana here and you just make the first right at the stop sign, that, or the stop light I should say that you hit, you're gonna be at McCarran International Airport. So I'm right in front of the uh, Rebel gas station. So we're just gonna start walking. Here is MGM, right here. So we're gonna walk right behind giant parking garage MGM. I am on Koval Lane. That's where I'm at right now. So Koval Lane, just walking north from Tropicana. Still a lot of people walk on the strip and I've done numerous videos walking on different parts of the strip but just one block away you guys are going to get to see here in just a minute actually we're going to come up to some of the places how uh different some uh of the scenery gets and not really in the best way so one thing i want to ask you guys i forgot the beginning of the video guys i would like for you to subscribe if you guys like these videos Please subscribe when I do these videos walking around the air or any other videos on the channel. So I want to get that subscriber count higher. About three quarters of the people who watch my videos are unsubscribed. The videos just come up in their feed or whatever. So please subscribe, guys. So as we come here, here's like the very first living uh, apartments, what you want to call them, or it's actually a duplex, but here it is. Here's some of the apartments. Literally, there's MGM's parking garage, and here's some of the places here. So this looks like it's actually pretty abandoned. I mean, you see bars in the windows here. You see the wood. This, so not the prettiest sight when you come here. <laughs> One block away where, you know, people are gambling big money People are spending all kinds of money at, you know, nightclubs and on bottle service and things like that and on real high-end dinners. And then just one street over, literally across the street, you got some places that are not the prettiest. So uh, that is what people talk about. You hear people talk about, you know, wanting to uh, ask, like, oh, the area's right next to the strip, are they nice? People say, oh, they're not nice areas. It's not that pretty. This is what you're looking at. So. That's so why a lot of people who live here in the Vegas area, a lot of them live, you know, in the suburbs, within an easy drive of Las Vegas, or, you know, easy drive of the Strip, but I don't know a ton of people who live, like, right next to the Strip like this. <laughs> So this road right here would truly take you right to MGM. 
the tram, I don't know if you guys caught it, just went by. This will take you right into MGM's parking garage, take you pretty close to their uh, front door area. We'll keep going down this way. And actually, we'll kind of wind up over here by Top Golf in just a minute. There's a few more apartment complex and things on the other side of this plot of land. Seagull Suites, a lot of like weekly apartments, those kind of things. Most of those do not have the best reputation as places to stay. So. I know people, some of you have subscribed to the channel that have stayed in places like that before you uh, found a permanent place to live. Uh, met at least one person who used to work security at those kind of places. And yeah, most of the stories they have are not too positive. So you guys actually see some of the towers here from uh, MGM uh, Signature Suites, or MGM Signature. I believe there's actually, if I'm not mistaken, there's actually supposed to be a tunnel underground, I've been told, that connects MGM Signature to the normal MGM Hotel. This is one of the promotions for a Hakkasan nightclub, which is actually right here in MGM. Somebody mentioned in the comments in the last video that the intersection back there, Koval and Tropicana, is actually where uh, Tupac, the rapper Tupac, was shot. Um, I actually looked that up, and uh, I knew it was just off the strip. I actually looked it up, and it's actually down here more. I'll do a video about that a separate day. There is like some kind of monument for him, or you know, like a little memorial, more like I should say, that you can actually go see. Don't know how popular it is, but it is actually down this way. So we'll come up here to another apartment complex. You guys have ever been, I don't know if any of you ever stayed this place. I lived in Vegas for a while before I learned about this place. That building right out there, it is called the Blue Green Resort. And so many times you drive by Tropicana, you can see it. You guys can see. So see your Tropicana is you see the property's kind of like set off a little bit. So many times you're just driving by, you would not even know that place is there. You would not even know that the Blue Green Resort is there. I think I first learned about it when I was driving for Uber. When they first came to Vegas, I had to pick someone up there and the guy told me where he was at and I was like, where? <laughs> Again, you guys can see kind of how distinct the properties are here when you come by this place. You have, you know, bars on these windows here for safety. And then you have, <laughs> I don't know how many millions of dollars it costs to build Top Golf. But I mean, these places could not be any different. As we come up here, I'll stay on this side of the street because hopefully being back on this side a little farther away, I'm hoping it gives us a better view of uh, Top Golf than being right there like in the trees and the bushes. You guys might be able to see, I can see, I'm not sure you can see on the camera, but actually some of the screens playing sports in Top Golf right now. See that? It's almost like, I feel like if you had, maybe if you're in like that room right up there, you might be able to just look out your window and just watch one of the screens from there. So I'll go past, I think it's actually still the same, uh, the same complex here. So yeah, there are people who live right here across the street from the strip. So there. 
Let's get a shot at Top Golf. That was quite a project when they put that in. That was a lot of land it covered. It pretty much takes up the whole rest of this block here as we come up to Harmon, which is the next cross street. So even from right here, you guys can actually see some of the other hotels. You guys can see the tower right there for the Paris. So now we're obviously on the other side of the street. The Alara. See all the people up there in their booths. Some people up there working on their swing, others probably just hanging out watching sports. So they You know, they have at least one pool in there, maybe two, I'm not positive. I think it's at least three, I think it's actually four stories, if I'm not mistaken. And actually, as you come up to the corner here of Harmon, you see this. This is the uh, Wyndham, which is, uh, no, I'm gonna walk right past the sign here. Wyndham Grand Desert. Vacation ownership, so they're known for the timeshares. I don't know if any of you ever sat through one of those timeshare presentations and you know signed up for this thing, but you know, this is a, I think a fairly popular spot for timeshare just because it's so close, obviously, to the strip. You can just walk one block over. And if I can reach high enough, I'll try to get a view I think, of the tennis course here. So I'll uh, come on up here to Harmon. <laughs> it's kind of cool to walk by and see some of the stuff playing on screen here. And you see the Cosmopolitan in the background. This is Hilton Grand Vacations. You see the high roller with the link from back here. See the Palazzo, Venetian, see Bally's. You can see a lot from just one block over. So I'll walk up here to Harmon. And uh, actually this right here, it's an old nightclub here on the corner. I did a video over in this area one time. I talked to one of the uh, security guards who's patrolling the area. So this was called Club Ice years ago. You can see it here on the pillar and on the building. So, and I think it's been empty for, I thought the guy said seven years now. Because you see Club Ice. So oftentimes they usually just get homeless people sleeping back there now. Is what they get a lot of. Okay, yeah, so here's Harmon. Go right down this way, and you basically run right into Planet Hollywood. You run into, you know, is it Cosmo? Run into uh, Aria. If you keep going this way, you'll hit uh, Ellis Island Casino. You have the Westin right there. But obviously, you have the wind and the encore in the distance. And then if you make a right down here, you can actually see, it still has a sign that says Hard Rock Hotel, but I guess it's soon to be Virgin Hotel. Right down there. So, I think it's been a pretty decent walk. It's probably where I'll leave this one at. I will certainly be back over in the area to do another uh, walking vlog with you guys. I know you guys love to see this, especially those of you coming on vacation soon. But, uh, yeah, so guys, thanks for watching this. Please subscribe down below. Hit that subscribe button for me. So I got more cool videos like this in the future. Thanks for watching, guys. I'm Jacob. This is my life in Vegas.